Now here is the recipe that all of you have been waiting for. It's slime. It's absolutely disgusting. And it makes my skin call. I'm Dr. Stewart. And this is my very special guest, Dr. Goldberg. Dr. Goldberg, I'm very happy you came today. Are you happy to be here? Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever made slime? No. Okay, well, this is something that we have recently developed in a laboratory, and this is what I like to do at night. And uh, making slime is quite easy, and it uses a material that's so strange. It's called guar. And it comes from this plant. Look at this. That's it, guar. And it just it's part of the bean family, the legume or pea family. So you just pour a little guar into a bowl and add about eight cups of water. Now the water, well, it's sort of room temperature. Let's see what the temperature is. Oh, it's hot. Has to be like a hundred and, mm, I just can't see with these glasses. Something's really hard here. Oh, it's about 110 degrees. So don't forget, it's important to be about 110 degrees. Now, how's your laboratory doing? Good. Good. What are you working on? Slime. Oh, you're working on slime too? So are you here trying to steal my secrets? Don't steal these. You have to buy these. Two. Uh oh I'm dribbling. <laughs> Four. Hmm. Six. Eight cups of water. Well, look, uh, Dr. Goldberg, so see, there's a lot of lumps in here, but don't worry about the lumps, because what we're going to do is strain the lumps using just a regular kitchen strainer and a rubber scraper. And we're going to push the guar, because it's soft now. Guar is this very wonderful material, and actually the guar creates a viscosity. It's a really fine slime. It's thick and it's sticky, and that stickiness is a function of time, temperature, and concentration. What kind of concentration? Not your kind of concentration. How much you actually put in the water, you see? Okay, well, you're concentrating very hard, but that's a different kind of concentration. Mmm. Now, we have a selection of bugs, too, because I think slime with bugs is better than anything, don't you? Mm-hmm. And now, once you put us with a strainer, you have to add one other magic ingredient, and that is, oh, let me see. Mm, here it is. One teaspoon of borax. Regular old borax. You know, everybody has borax in their basement. And about a half a cup of water. Mmm. Now this acts as stabilizer. Stir that up. And pour it in. Oh. <gasps> Ooh, it's slimy. Oh, look. Look. Perfect slime. Mm. Lovely slime. What do you think? Want to try it? Perfect consistency, don't you think? Yep. Perfect viscosity. And it's suitable for kids ages five and up. Not to eat exactly, but to play. Very fun. So we're going to add this to our fish bowl. Mmm, it's like jello. And actually, bakers use guar in small quantities. Oh, I like it when it's dripping down the bowl like that, don't you? Mm -hmm. And we can add a few more bugs. Mm. Little spiders. And some flies. Oh, I love those flies. So you can poke those down in there if you want, Dr. Goldberg. Mmm, more slime. Oh, and forgive me. Oh, forgive me. Oh, I'm so sorry. Not on your jacket. But don't worry about it. Oh, you can mix that up in there and push those down. These are little sticks. Okay. Mm. 
And that's how you make slime. Once it's thickened, you can just put it in containers and just leave it there for the kids to play with. And by the way, when you're ready to dispose of the slime, remove the ants and flies and pour the slime into a plastic trash bag. Thanks, Dr. Goldberg. And there's one ingredient there I didn't tell you about. You know why? Why? I don't want it to go back to your laboratory. I'm not going to share every recipe with you. But you're a nice man anyway. So come back soon, okay? Bye.